Hi, Leaps and Bounds families. My name is Ali, and I am the speech language pathologist in the Sweet BPM classroom. I'm going to show you some basic sign language that we use with our leapers to help them communicate. These signs may look slightly different than what you see on YouTube or in another Leaps and Bounds classroom, so be sure to check in with your child's speech language pathologist to see what works best for them. It's super important to model these signs in the beginning stages of using them. If your child is having trouble imitating, you can help them by using what we call hand over hand to help them sign. First, show them the sign. Give them a few seconds to try to imitate. If they do not imitate, then take their hands and help them create the sign. I want to be clear, we're not using sign language to replace talking, but evidence shows that using sign language with early communicators can enhance verbal communication. The sign for I want is done by taking your hand and patting it to your chest. A good time to use this sign would be if you see your child reaching for a toy or a snack that's up on the counter out of their reach. You can go over to them, ask, do you want that? Model the sign, give them a few seconds to respond, and if they don't, use hand over hand to help them create the sign. You make sure you do this before giving them the item that they want. The sign for more is done by bringing your fingertips together and meeting at midline. Mealtime is a great time to practice this sign. After each bite, you can prompt your child to ask for more before giving them another bite. The sign for all done is done by holding your hands up and rotating at the wrists. We can initially teach this by labeling when something is all done. For example, we're all done eating or all done bath time. Eventually, we want our kids to be able to ask to be all done with something. If you see that they're showing you with their body language that they're done, you can model, are you all done? And then use hand over hand to help them if needed. Another word that's useful for decreasing frustration is stop. This is signed by holding a flat palm out and bringing the other hand down to the middle of the palm. If a sibling's getting on your child's nerves, instead of using body language, such as pushing, they can use their sign for stop. Go is a great word that allows our kids to request actions. There's a few variations of this sign that are used in different leaps and bounds classrooms. The American Sign Language version looks like this. Ready, set, go. A few classrooms use a version where you roll your hands. Ready, set, go. In my classroom, I use a fist pump towards the sky. Ready, set, go. All these variations are great, just make sure to check in with your child's speech therapist to find out which version they use. We hope to have some consistency in the classroom and at home. Go! Go! Good job! Open is done by bringing your hands together and then opening them up flat. This can be used to ask to open a bag of snacks, open the door to go outside, or in our very popular circle time song, what's in the box? What's in the box? We want to know what's in the box we have to open. The word for help is signed by making a thumbs up with one hand and placing it on your other palm and moving them in an upwards motion. One trick I use in therapy is pretending like I have no clue what a child needs, even though they might be showing me with their body language that they need help. I might ask them, 
what do you need? Then provide wait time to allow them to respond without my help. After this, I might ask them, oh, do you need help? If they've not attempted to create the sign themselves, I will give them hand over hand assistance before giving them the help that they're asking for. Do you want help? Go like this, ready? And help, help. Good. <laughs> A few more simple signs are sit, eat, drink, play, wait, mom, dad, in, out. Your child's signs might not look perfect and that's okay. Many of our leapers are working very hard to improve their fine motor skills. So let's accept a sign that looks close to the adult version. We want to honor and congratulate any attempt at functional communication. I hope you found this video helpful for communicating with your little one.